G'day, g'day. Welcome back to TF Custom Shaving Brushes Workshop. My name's Tony. How are we all tonight? Or this afternoon, I should say. Later, later afternoon. Hope you're all well. I see Brett's in there nice and early. Don't know who else is in yet. And I don't know who's going to drop in yet. But we'll soon find out, won't we? Um, while I got your attention, Brett, <coughs> that was the blue one that uh, got out the mould the other day. Um, I'll just go to camera two for that. We'll cut to there. So that's the mould. That's the casting, sorry. So it's definitely nice and blue. I don't know what we're going to get inside it though. Um, hard to tell by looking at the bottom or looking at the, the top end. But um, so it's one of those ones, much like this one actually. It's going to be one of those ones we're not going to really know what we're going to get until we start getting inside it. Um, and then we'll see see the uh, the true colours come out. So, But that's the blue one that we cast the other night, mate. So no obligations. Um, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Simple as that. All right. So, how have you all been? All right. Let me just get uh, the YouTube chat up. Yeah, it's a nice blue, um, but like I said, it'll just depend what sort of swirly pattern or whatever we've got on the inside. Much the same as this one, because it looks pretty bland and plain on the outside, but when you look in at the end here, um, as you can see in the little picture-in-picture, picture, um, it's got some quite nice colouring and sort of marbly type and effect in it. But anyway, we won't know for sure until we get further in it. We did put some other um, lighter colours in this one as well, along with the black. Um, so yeah, so again, we'll see what we get when we uh, when we start to turn it. This one's just the handle only. This one's going down to uh, Sarjan and ACT um, to have a rhodium fitted in it for some lucky customer. Um, and the handle is just my sort of standard -y type shape that I used to do a lot of. Um, so nothing too fancy tonight. Yeah, no problems, mate. I mean, I can continue on and turn it anyway. Um, the only thing we'll need to uh, sort out is what sort of knot you want to put in it. Um, anyway, we'll continue on. Um, I'm going to do just a little bit of cleaning up on the end of this blank here. And before I do much more, I will check that that blank is nice and tight in the chuck, just to be safe and sure. We had another storm come over just a little while ago, so it just actually finished just as I started the stream. Um, wasn't as severe as the other night though, um, fair bit of rain, um, but nothing too much, just the usual, what you'd expect for this time of the year I suppose. out and about again tonight Brett see how that looks a boss knot yeah the boss knot's the really dark one um, I'm trying to remember if the timber wolf is the one that's got the grey the grey blue in it but either or mate I can do I can do any of them really I've got got most of them in stock so um, it's not a big deal right oh so now I'm going to come in with this one and we'll slow that down and I'm going to come in with a 28 mil Bosna bit and then we'll take it out to 29 um, so that's me about Ten there. I'll just check that that size is the correct size. Um, so we'll just, just, just check. 
to 18 mil deep for the um, 18 mil deep for the yeah no problems Brett no worries at all mate right so we've got 10 mil there so we go in until I hit 28 or thereabouts it there well, we'll take that away now and we'll knock that out because we should be done with that now but we do have to take it out to um, 29 mil so um, what I'll do is I'll move the tool rest around. And I'll come in again with that. We'll go in with the skew and we'll just take that out a tiny little bit. Speed it up. And I'm just going to come in there and just take. Take that all the way to the bottom, and then we'll check that. We'll stop that and take a measurement. Yeah, lovely, 29. Okay. So start to round over that top edge and speed the lathe up a bit more and I'll bring that round more now and probably up a touch Go in there. And we're going to round that off. We'll start to round that off.
some nice um, nice green and black through that top section there now. So um, starting to look okay. Should be a relatively uh, short quick stream tonight unless we have any issues because um, like I say this one's just a handle only um, it's going to be getting sent to Rorium to have a hand tied knot set in it Um, not sure if it's having a coin in it yet. I'm just waiting on um, Sarjan coming back to me, but should be good. Right, I'll just check that depth there. Yes, yeah, so we've got to go in more yet. So I don't know why, how I didn't get that depth right. I didn't think it looked quite deep enough. So we'll slow that down again. We'll put this back in. Yeah, we'll bring it up. Bring it back to. Oh, that's why, because I never reset it when I uh, took the initial cuts. That's that's why. Right. So we'll get it this time. So we've got 10 mil there. Start it up, speed it up a bit. Probably a bit there. You don't want it too too fast for um, drilling. And that'll be the depth there. Head a tail stop, and we will need to go back in again now and just open up the balance of that hole to 29. Probably drop it down a touch, and speed it up. Um. Okay. No. We're going to go in with the carbide. I don't know. Um, what are we up to break? Yes, yeah, just did my last pickup. Okay, cool. I'm about to head to Sydney, but we'll keep this in as usual. All good. Yeah, that's why I said boss not because it's black. It's for my 18 year old and, and, and all dark colours. Okay, no worries, mate. Yeah, we can have a look at it anyway once I turn the handle, mate. We can, because it depending on what size, buddy, what, what size um, knot do you want? You can tell me later, no big deal.
Um, what am I looking for? Looking for that. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Okay. I am right to go. So, I'm going to go on and just tidy that a tiny little bit more around the top end of the handle there. And then we'll be ready to start on the, um, the rest of the handle, I think. Okay. Really thin streamers, stream, streamers off this one. Right, now we'll come back and we'll start the hollowing in the lower section of the handle. I was hoping to get a little bit of the uh, lighter colour green in this too, so I'm just not sure whether we're going to get too much in it the way it's looking, but we'll see. We don't know until we get further in. And then I think what I'll do is I'll set the bottom of the, the uh, handle mark. So we've got a Start at the top and I'll finish at the bottom. So we'll drop the tool rest down a fair bit. And we'll come in nice and low there. Check out where that puts us. Probably too low. Better. This is just so that I've got a, a size to work to for the overall of the handle, that's all. There we go. Now I'm just going to remove a bit of waste material from the bottom. And that'll give me better access for rounding off and shaping the bottom. <sighs> Take a bit more. seeing what I'm doing there but I'll put um, camera 3 on you get a bit better look at what I'm actually doing with a with the material Do that. So we'll give that a clean up. Now 
Okay. Now a bit more shaping. So we'll bring this out, we'll bring it up, and then we'll take it into where we need it to be. And probably what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll release that tail stock and we'll bring the tail stock further back so I can get the um, tool rest in better. Lock it there, lock that. And that lets me get in better. There now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start rounding off that bottom now. going to take that, that down, a bit more, that back out, back up, That are clear. Let's see what we're doing. Hey man, how are you, buddy? Just, just had a quick look there now. Who else have we got? Have I missed anybody else? No. Yeah, it had to be green, but it's not for uh, it's not for Brett though. Brett's driving at the moment, mate, so he's listening and. Uh, listening to what's going on. Now I'm just working away here on this this green handle which is um, going to be going to uh, Sarjan to be fitted with a, a nice hand tied rhodium. So it's only going to be a fairly quick uh, fairly quick shorter stream tonight. All going well. So have you been anyway, T Man? Oh well I hope. That's looking pretty good. I'm just going to check that with the picture. Yeah, so that's looking pretty good there. I think what I need to do is just a 
alive and well, eh? That's the main thing, mate. That's the main thing. Alive and well. That's all we ask for, isn't it? Just mixing the streams up a little bit, mate, so it's not all brushes. Um, just for a just for a break and a change. I do like making other things, so um, Yes, the lovely, um, the lovely knot, as you well know. might be getting closer with that now. So. Yeah, we need probably more off the bottom, if anything else, I think. And I think maybe a little bit more than underneath the ring. Just in here. And I think that'll give it the look we're looking for there. Take that little bump out there. It's better. Now we just gotta sweeten that lower curve in again. A little bit. Definitely needs a lot more off here. That's looking a lot better. Um, a little bit more there. And I think we've captured what we needed to capture in that now. Probably still be a little bit more round on the bottom, but I think we'll get that I think we'll get that when we um, turn it around to do the bottom. The 
Right, so, if I look at the previous picture, which was that one, yeah, I think we've pretty much captured that, that look. Just needs to be a little bit more round in that bottom lower curve there. And we'll have captured that same sort of look. If anything, we could probably still take a little bit more there, but I think I think the handle looks nice the way it is. So I'm gonna leave it at that. So we'll slow it down. Well, we are getting some of the lighter green in it. And the darker and the black. So that's, that's nice. It's not the same as what the customer, or the picture that I was sent, but you never can, you know, I mean, the casting that was sent is, a, is an extruded casting, I believe, not a, a hand cast. Um, so you can never sort of really replicate them properly. But I think that's looking quite nice. I think that'll make a nice handle. And an overall a nice brush at the end of the day. Right, now I'm just gonna go in and try and tidy, tidy that little top edge there a little bit. And then go back in there and just clean that up. That's it. That should do it, I think. Okay. Pull that down, have another final look, make sure that I think it's what it needs to be. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. We'll just check that loft again, the loft, the recess height. Take that right back out of the way and we'll knock the uh, center out for now just for safety right so let me just check the depth yep um, one last little bit here that I'm going to do. Speed it up. Beautiful, spot on. Right, um, so I think that's all done. So we can start with the sanding now. Slow it down.
Lovely. Ah, so it's pretty quiet in the uh, in the streams of light, T man. There's not been too many people dropping in, although we're showing four viewers, so I don't know who's actually viewing. I know Brett's in, I know you're in, I know I'm here. Um, we might have another viewer in as well, but um, yeah. It's all good. So this was one that I cast in a stream on Saturday morning. I cast two or three blanks on Saturday morning stream, and this was the uh, the green blank from that. Give this one a little bit of a rub by hand as well, um, just to take out any of the radio marks in it. Makes it easier at the buffing stage later. Oh, I didn't see you on Saturday, mate. Um, or did I? No, I don't think it did. But yeah, this was one of the ones we cast then. I've got the other ones behind me, they're all done as well, so um, I've got them sitting behind me, so I can show you those ones from Saturday in a little while. But I'll just keep going with this for now. the uh, foam pad to get it that tighter detail there. How's the shoulder coming along, mate?
So all I'm doing there is I'm just getting into that tight detail, making sure that we're not leaving any tooling marks either on the lip of the um, the ring that separates the top of the handle from the lower section of the handle. So I'm just making sure that we've got no bad rings or anything in there as well as in this top section where it meets that. So, um, and anything that I don't get out, it's going to be small enough that the um, the buff's going to get it out, you know. Still sore, still playing up, mate, eh? Or does it just need longer to recuperate? More and more physio. Or haven't they got it right? I'm just working my way through the grits. So I started at 150, 240, then we'll go 320, 400, 600, and then we'll move on to the wets. By that time, hopefully we'll have a nice bit of a shine on it. Okay, that's looking not too bad there. back again. Okay. Oh, bugger. Worry, I. Four months rehab, Jesus. Oh well, I guess it's um, a game you've got to play with them, isn't
pad in there again, I think, just to get right in the bottom. So we're on 320 grit now, so we're getting down in the finer stuff now. And as always, all we're doing is trying to take out the scratches from the previous grit. That's all we're doing. So everything is getting finer and finer. Now we'll just go into um, the little detailed area again, just give that a final touch up. grit now and those have slid, slowed the lathe right down too so you don't need a lot of speed for sanding otherwise you just burn everything burn the sandpaper out too quickly and just light pressure not a lot of pressure on it either Always find that if you put more pressure on the sandpaper that you just wear your sandpaper out quicker and it doesn't give it proper time to cut properly. So um, just light pressure. Let the paper do its, do its work. Again. Then we've got 600 grit to grow and then we'll go on to the wets after that.
not good, mate, not good. Well, you just have to um, grin and bear it, I guess, won't you? Keep going to the, uh, the physio and rehab. See how you go. in there with a little bit of the edge of the pad again just to get right in that detail there it's shaping up quite nicely now we'll just get an edge on that and we'll just give this a little bit of a touch up That should be it for that one. Um, we'll get on the 600 now, so we can put that away. How are you, buddy? Ray Dog, how are you, mate? <laughs> One eye open. One eyed Grey Dog, eh? Oh, we had another storm come through a little while ago. But it was nowhere near as bad as the one the other night, which was good. So, um, storms do tend to cool it down a bit. We've had about 30 odd degrees here today. So it's been fairly, um, fairly hot and muggy all day. We're on the 600 grit, so we're about to go to the um, the wet shortly on this mixed green and black handle, which is being uh, fitted with a rhodium knot, but that's going to Sarjan to be fitted with the rhodium knot. So, um, but I think the uh, I think the colour is going to look quite uh, spectacular in this one. I think. Couldn't tell from the outside of the blank because it just looked like it was plain grain. So um, it was a hard one to tell from the blank. As is the blue one that we cast on Saturday as well, which I'll show you in a little while. I've got. Um, Another two blanks there that we cast on Saturday morning stream that um, I've rounded out and prepared them to go onto the lathe. So um, I'll show you them once I get time with this one. So this one won't be getting the knot fitted in it here. It'll be getting sent away to get the knot fitted. So um,
yeah, it's um, the shape on this one's similar to one that I done. I mean, it's a it's a shape that I do fairly regular. Um, I used to call it my pretty much my standard shape, um, but it it's just slightly different, um, and it gets a nice look about it. And that's um, I've got a picture on my phone of the last one I done, which was. Um, for a fella here in Australia and um, I'm pretty sure it had a rhodium put in it and this one is pretty much the same in shape and that's what the uh, fella wanted for this one the picture I got was my picture from a previous handle that I'd turned so I've replicated it I think it, I think the color I might be a little bit off on because there was some lighter greens in the other one but um, I don't know how this green is going to polish up so um, I, we did put lighter green in it so um, I'm hoping we get a little bit of a shade variance in the in the color and there was also black in it as well so um, But we'll soon see when we hit it with the wet shortly. Yeah, oh Brett's here, he's just travelling, so he's listening. Grey dog. Brett's seen this one being cast, and I dare say he'll drop back in to see it um, when it's finished. And I always put the photographs up on Instagram or whatever anyway, normally, so um, there's always something to see. Let's take that sharp edge off. Right, and I think we're done there now with that grit. That's the 600 grit. I'll just get into the fine section here again. Just for a final touch. And just a little rim. shaping up quite nicely. I can see some nice colouring in it but you can never tell until you get them wet and a bit of polish and shine on them. Okay so that's that done. So I'll stick them all over there for now at the Y in case we need them again which, which we will for the bottom. And I'll show you those other blanks in a little while but we'll keep continuing on with this one for now. So I shall get my, or one of my trusty dirty old rags for the bed life. Oh, oh, stood on the hose, pulled the hose. All good though, all good. I'll stick that over there, stick that there. Now I opened up a new packet of these pads, but these are the, uh, I couldn't get the other ones. These are the cheaper ones and I'm not that fussed on these ones. So they'll be all right for this though, because um, they're brand new, so. But they don't last anywhere near the length of time that the other ones do.
Well, it is nice, but it's, yeah. I think once it's all polished up, it's going to be um, a bit of a stunner, actually. It's not quite the same as the photograph I got as far as colours, though. The dark colour and the black is fine, but I don't have as much of the lighter colour in it, so... Um, But you can't always replicate exactly, especially when they're machine made blanks as opposed to a hand poured blank. They're just not the same. Right, that's that one, we've got the next one. Yeah, it's coming up, coming up nicely actually. that next one we'll see it getting slightly lighter and lighter the color as it 
as we get through these finer wets. Brett wants it. Brett wants it. Micah says to you, mate, I can do another one if you want one. We know what colours we put in it, so um, we can do something similar, that's for sure. I think once it gets a real shine on it, we buff it up, I think that green is going to pop like real metallic-y, aye.
<laughs> teasing, teasing, teasing. Yeah, the green's starting to come through in it now, just the way the light's catching it. And the fact that we're getting finer in the grits, we're getting more reflection from it now. A couple of grits left to go, then we'll take it off, turn it around, pan it off, tidy up the bottom. I think against the black as well, it just sort of really, it's going to really enhance that green and make the green pop more. Oh, that's smooth as now. You can feel the pie just sliding over it. You can see more of the green now, but I think you're going to see more of it once it's buffed. Okay, we'll get rid of that for a minute. Get rid of this for a minute. So we need it again. Now I'll have a little bit of a refreshment. Being that I'm sweaty Betty. Right, ready for the next part. So here we go, take it off, set it up there, swap the chucks over. Um, 
and swap the key over. White centre. That's better. That's spot on now. Huh? And that'll do it. I don't want to go any tighter. Right. So we'll bring in the uh, tool rest again, drop that down nice and low. Bring it in a bit closer again. And we'll put the live centre in the tailstock. it off a little bit a little bit in it not much minimal okay so we're ready to go again I'm just going to check my text messages just to see if uh, tool rest down a little bit more that's better and we'll speed it up a bit and we'll go to uh, three <coughs> so you can see what's happening and keep my head out the way. There we go. Is the waist gone? Take that back out the way again. And we will take out the uh, live centre just so we don't bump ourselves on it. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. Still going to give that another wet, I think, because I'm just not 100% happy with that. Um, I haven't heard back about putting a coin in the bottom, so I think I'll go ahead and put one in. So I'll get the 25 mil bit. And the only reason I say that is because most people want the coin in there. So, um,
Antique brass, yep, antique brass goes good with the green. And that'll do us. So again, we'll take that out so we don't bump ourselves on it. And now we'll bring the tool rest around. We'll tidy up the bottom. up a bit. Should be that. Okay, now it's just a little bit of a, a light sand up, and I'm going to go over the uh, the main section of the handle again, just with a 600. And it's probably too fast. Again, um, the wet rag. Yeah, it should look nice with the rhodium actually, the um, the green, I think the green always looks nice with um, with the natural badger hair brushes, you know, the knots, they just, the colours just blend together naturally, you know, so the, uh, they always tend to look nice, I, I feel, with the green. And like I said, the antique brass, I don't think you can go wrong with the antique brass on the bottom of a green handle. Now I'll just check that um, bottom with my straight edge. Yep, lovely. Cool, that's what I'm after. And we'll go with the next pad.
Um, it's a 29mm socket, so Sarjan does his knots a little bit different to other people, so um, it will probably end up being a 28-29mm um, knot, but it will be sized to suit the the opening. So it will be, it could end up being somewhere between. It just depends on how he how he does it. Um, he's got his own way way of sizing his knots for the handles, which is not like you know buying pre pre sized knots, you know. Because they're all hand tied, he just he, he'll add hair or take hair out depending on what which way he needs to go with it, you know. But it'll end up being somewhere in that vicinity, twenty eight to twenty nine. Exactly, Razor, exactly, mate. Right, I think that will do us. So we'll get rid of this. We'll lay these out so they don't all stick together. I'll have another swig of drink. So we're all gone, we're all hanging in there, yeah? Jeez, it's muggy again guys after that storm. Earlier. Alright, so I'll grab a bit of paper towel. Just give that a little bit of a dry off. We'll go over to the um, we'll go over to the buffer. Move that there. Change the chucks over. Because that'll be the next one that I'll need. Now, I'll get on to that buffer now. And then, um, so we'll switch these over to camera four there. And we'll put uh, picture in picture as camera one. And uh, we'll drop up our uh, please subscribe button on the bottom left there for a, for a little while. And I'll take this to the buffer and give it a good going over. And then we'll hit it with the fabuluster and we'll see what the outcome is, eh? Okay, here we go.
Okay, I think that'll do it for the uh, popping one. We'll go on to the fabulista now and put a final polish up on it. Get inside the uh, lower section.
Right, I do need to put this chuck back in though because um, I forgot I've got to put, it, put a little bit of polish on it, haven't I? So we'll swap that over again very quickly. And I'll set that there for now. Put this back on. And let me get that camera back to there for you. Put this on. Doesn't matter if it's not 100% round now because um, we're only polishing. We'll do it. Get a little bit of polish. Brett's on the road, no worries. Drive safely, Brett, wherever you are in Sydney. Right, that's the polish. I think we're good there. No, oh, um, get my glue glue board. I need a popsicle stick. I need my glue. a medallion. And need a paddle pop stick. Lock the other in the top key. I normally have one out but I put everything away. I was having a clean up the other day and there it 
guy. Actually, too much glue because I only need the coin. We're not putting a knot in this. Not to worry. Just adds a bit of thickness to my glue board. Again. So, here we go. we go. Level that out. Ready for next time. I'll show you these other blanks before we finish too, that we cast on Saturday. So, um, <clears throat> but I'll just give this a wipe first with um, a little bit of methyl. Because there is a tiny little bit of glue oozing out under the medallion. So we'll get rid of that. Coin's still moving around a bit, so I might have to leave it just a little bit. set in it. But I should be able to show you the handle there. That got more out. this over inside itself again now. Why? Good old trusty glue board, eh? It's kind of setting in there now, so um, let's go back to there and um, we'll change the camera too shortly. Um, picture in picture, we'll take our please subscribe thing down now. 
I'm just making sure that we've got all the glue off there. And I'll come back to it in a little while. But I should be able to show you this for now anyway. And that's us done and dusted. So, it's probably gone a little bit dull again with me handling it and wiping glue and meths all over it. But anyway, it's pretty shiny. Let me go to camera three. You can see how that green sort of shimmers in there. There's the coin in the bottom. Take it down a little bit. I think the camera's actually struggling to focus on it. Just get that. So there you go. Let me get that in shot again now. So there's that view. Then we'll go to camera two view as usual. And you can see it that way. You can see how green it is when the light catches that green there in certain directions and then you can see it, it looks dark when you turn it back the other way. It's just how it reflects light. So if I tilt it, see, really green, tilt it, it goes dark. Turn it round, tilt it, it goes dark. Tilt it the other way, it goes green. Anyway, guys, that's it for tonight. Thank you all for uh, tuning in. Um, it was good to see a few people back in the stream tonight because the last couple of streams have been a little bit quiet. Um, so, yeah, so it was really good to see a few people in again tonight and see the chat ticking away there nicely. Um, thanks, Razor. Grey Dog, thanks for dropping in, buddy. Much appreciated, and we'll see you next time. I know it's uh, early, early hours for you all guys over there, but um, thanks for dropping in, mate. Much appreciated, really is. T-Man, thanks for your support again, buddy. Good to, good to see you. Good to hear, hear from you in there. And um, I think we're all done and dusted now, so... Um, I think we'll call it a night, me and my little green handle. We'll call it a night, and uh, we'll see you on um, Saturday morning, hopefully, eh? All going well. So until then, take care. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. We'll see you later. Cheers. <laughs>